Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Um, I loved, I already read your tweet earlier, Dean. You said, because I love, this is your lawyer part that I love talking to. Mm -hmm. You said, people uh, ask what happens if Trump refuses to pay the $83 million verdict. E. Jean Carroll's lawyers will begin seizing everything in Trump's name to satisfy the judgment, bank accounts, personal property, real estate. Um, We will soon see the Trump name on buildings replaced with E. Jean, which is hilarious. But I mean, that's what other, a lot of their experts are saying. A, he has Mm -hmm. to put up a bond. B, they can start seizing assets and see Alina Haba is such a bad lawyer that, that he apparently doesn't have much grounds for appeal, does he? Well, I think she'll do fine as Mrs. Trump number four, okay. but I don't think in the, I don't think she's good as a lawyer. She's probably a good transactional or real estate lawyer. I, I'm assuming think? because I haven't seen her do that. She's not a good yeah. litigator. Yeah. I was a litigator and reading what was going on was literally embarrassing. The judge saying to her, do you know how to introduce that into evidence? That is bad. Like that, you don't want. I've had judges be mean to me and other lawyers, sure. and they usually don't do that on the record in front of everyone. They call you over and then they embarrass you. That judge did it to her face. So look, we're Wait, Kaplan. you never stood up and said, "I will not be talked to like that, Your Honor." <laughs> I don't think you understand who I am. I'm uh, no, that you don't do that. Judges are so mean. People don't get it. So for her, for her to make that comment shows she's really not a trial lawyer. You have to have a thick skin as a trial lawyer. Judges are demeaning to lawyers yeah. all the time. Has she never watched a judge show? Lawyers. What does she think? Like Judge Judy is cuddly? Like, are you... <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No, it's a, that's how it goes. But by the way, getting back to, first of all, I'm buying paint because we're going to repaint Trump's jet, the E.G. jet. We're going to be doing that <laughs> later today. I can't wait to do that. But Roberta Kaplan, the lawyer for E.G. was on CNN and laid it out for everyone. Trump now is supposed to bond of 20% yeah. of the 80 Five million dollars. Right? Yeah. So we're talking about like seventeen million dollar bond, which could have cost him a lot of interest, nine percent, or post the whole thing. Yeah. If he doesn't want to pay interest, and if he doesn't, she can. She will then have the federal judgment uh, recognized here in New York State. That's what you do procedurally, and then seize every asset he has in New York, including freezing all of his bank accounts. Everything gets frozen. It's really fast. I used to do that. I mean, I w- when I was a lawyer. I never had $85 million judgment against anyone. They were a few thousand dollars and they wouldn't pay. And you see, you freeze the bank accounts. Yeah. You, you put liens on assets. You can force the sale of property. You can seize personal property and have that sold. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then that's going to dwarf the judgment this week, right? From uh, Judge and Gorin. What, what's going to happen this week? This, that's just. On top of it all, that could be anywhere, a hundred million, two fifty, three hundred million. That's what the New York AG wants. You're talking real money. (laughs) A lot of money. That's and that's a fine. Now he can appeal that. That's not a judgment, so he can appeal. And I'm not sure if the court would make him post anything or not while that appellate process is going on. It's a fine. It's not a judgment. But I will say this to remind people because Trump has filed for bankruptcy his company six times. If he were to personally file for bankruptcy now for E. Jean Carroll, the punitive damages are not dischargeable in bankruptcy exactly. because they're done from, there are malicious acts, punitive damages, stay with you. So they're an albatross around his neck for 20 years, which means the rest of his unnatural life, he's gonna have to be paying this off. So there's no escaping it. They're really not, he'll appeal, you know, is there some- I'm gonna muttly myself till somewhere? I choke. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, look, this is accountability. I think this is important in the it's big the picture. It's the first time we've seen it. I think that's why people are so giddy because you're like, oh my God. Because your first thing is people go, oh no, he'll never pay a dime and he'll appeal and appeal and appeal forever. Can you explain that as a lawyer, Dean? I mean, I get it that people with money can just keep appealing. and appeal. Isn't there an end of the road somewhere? Particularly as if a lot of the legal experts are right, like George Conway saying he doesn't have an appeal. She, well, uh, she destroyed all the grounds, all the evidentiary grounds. Well, they came into the case and not being able to contest liability, right? So there's right. an appeal on that kind of issue. Was that proper or not? Then they can appeal the, the damages itself, the punitive. Was it extreme? Is it not? So that's around the edges. We'll, we'll see what happens. But look, he has a right, like anyone else, to appeal this to the neck to the appellate division. Yeah. Well, actually, the U.S. Court of Appeals is the federal court case. And then to the Supreme Court. They don't have to take any of it. Yeah. Like, we're waiting for the immunity case. But right. also, I think it's really important. I think Trump testified to see if his presence in the courtroom would sway a jury. Yeah. And it didn't work at all. Yeah, I love New And Yorkers. I don't think you're going to see him in his criminal cases at all because this was nine jurors, right? Yeah. Seven men, almost all white people. That's what I've heard because they were anonymous, but you heard from the reporting, it was seven men, two yeah. women. Four of them weren't even from New York City because the jury for 
federal court goes about 100 miles. It goes outside of Manhattan. You have people from Putnam County and other counties yeah. which are a little bit more Trump favor favoring unanimous verdict. Yeah. They Can you find the guy or the Trump. or the woman that wrote in chalk in front of Trump Tower, eighty three point three million, ha 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 ha, keep talking loser. <laughs> so that I can so that I may date and marry them. <laughs> this, this, look, this is this I, I think people are this is a type of celebration. And over the weekend, what they have, they had like Tim Scott and others on the, the yeah. Sunday shows going, I'm not troubled by this. It's you know, whatever it is, or I'm not following all that stuff. America's following it. This is going to be part of the commercial against Donald yeah. Trump. It was for defamation. Yeah. This one, and the first case, the five million, was for sexual assault. Yeah. Um. By the way, I, you found another layer of lovely that I read earlier oh. that I'd forgotten. It's another layer. Of <laughs> you said, uh, remember when Donald Trump said he wanted to change the libel laws to make it easier to sue people for defamation? Wonder if he still wants to change the laws after getting hit for more than eighty million in damages for defamation. I'm thinking, imagine if he had passed that law. Right. <laughs> she might have gotten some real money. <laughs> This no, and he talked about as a candidate and in the White House, we should change the defamation laws so you can make it easier to get a lot of money. That was his term. Well, I think eighty-three million is a lot of money, and he wanted to change it so he can sue media outlets. Right. And in this case, SNL. Look, this is justice. This is great, and and I, I hope people feel good about it because there may be good times and hard times. We now in November fifth, yeah. the election. And this is really big. We need Trump to be convicted, though, yeah. criminally. You yeah. wrote a piece about John Stewart being back, but I thought uh, there's another layer of irony that I love is that E. Jean Carroll used to be a writer for SNL, which is one of the things he threatened to sue and shut down before making fun of him for being too mean <laughs> to him. Yeah. So it's just, yeah. Like more, he, and that's more of his autocracy. Yeah. Donald Trump, as a candidate, called for SNL to be canceled. Mm -hmm. And as president, openly posted on then Twitter, the FCC should investigate them. Oh, and he upset there was no way to have retribution against Saturday Night Live. Because I've yeah. written about all of his autoc autocratic, fascist dictatorship yeah. instincts as president. Shutting down comedy. I perform comedy in the Middle East. You cannot make fun of the, the leaders of those countries for a reason. Yeah. Because they don't want to be laughed at. Trump wants to be feared. He's that dictator. Yeah. Laughing at him takes his power away. It's really important we laugh at him. Yeah. Doesn't mean we discount how yeah. serious and deadly he is. But... It's, it's important to laugh at people. Like, yeah. They don't want to be laughed at. They yeah. want well, to be you were feared. talking about John Stewart coming back. You said can help us win in 2024. You said it's all, Stewart has a history of getting under Trump's pathetically thin squin, skin and causing the orange beast to lash out publicly. I had forgotten before Mango Mussolini and Cheetolini and all the things I think we invented, there was a, a face von clown stick. Yeah. Which, <laughs> which was John Stewart's original name yeah. for him that made him go crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it, it really upset Trump. Like you, if you look back at that in 2013, 14, and 15, and I wrote or mentioned that article, he it really upset Trump the idea of calling him the, the curse word yes. clown yes, stick. Yes, yes, and mm. to the point where Trump trafficked in an open anti-Semitism. Yeah, and John Stewart called it out. Yeah, because John Stewart's real last name is Leibowitz, yeah. and there's Donald Trump for some reason yeah. posting, "Why are you like, hiding your real name?" He wants people John to know Leibowitz I'm Jewish. And John, <laughs> right, and that's what Stewart said. He's yeah. absolutely right. This is Trump. He's a vile despicable person yeah. who the only debate we should be having is what he should be eating at lunch in the prison yes. commissary. Agreed. That's the only thing we should be talking about. Mm -hmm. Well, and also you made a larger point on Twitter, Dean. You said MAGA is terrorism and should have been already designated as a terrorist group. Um, mm -hmm. And speaking of this, you said that if uh, GOP Supreme Court bars Trump from ever holding office, we again, we can expect some GOP governors to threaten the use of their state's National Guard to force states to put Trump on the ballot. This is where we're heading. MAGA is the greatest threat since the Axis powers in World War II. And that is not mm -hmm. understating it. Look what's happening in Texas. And Trump actively encouraging states to send their National Guard to fight the federal government and, and the, you know, defy the Supreme Court ruling. You know, I read Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, his letter saying that the U.S. government has broken the compact and he went through things. And then I went and read Texas's declaration of secession from the Union at the beginning of the Civil War. And there were similar things in there. And I think he did it by design. I don't actually think Greg Abbott wants a Civil War, but I think he wants to play on that. And those, yeah. those sentiments and people in Texas and in the South, that the, the South will rise again. There'll be the Confederacy with states' rights. That game, it's a, it's a dangerous game. I don't see a civil war happening, but I, I do see you could have a dangerous standoff where someone gets hurt or even killed at the border. And, you know, yeah. we had three people who were drowning, a mother and two children. Yeah. And Greg Abbott's troops will not allow the, US, the border yeah. patrol to get to go and help them. It was happened a few weeks ago. So three people, innocent people have died for this game that Greg Abbott's playing. Ugh. Ay, 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 ay.